This little black boy, it shines the shoes of rich white men in front of banks because in the process of shining shoes, the whites would talk about financial secrets. When the white man leaves after tipping, he would write them down in a book. The boy wanted more than just a small tip. He'd listen to the banker's meetings from the window, and then he would write it all down. When he got home, his father's eyes widened when he saw his books. He thought his son was a business genius, but he was born in the wrong skin because white people won't allow a black man to be more successful than them, smarter blacks than them. But the boy was not convinced. He wanted to be a good banker. Years later, Harry had a wife of his own. He earned his first paycheck with his brains. He left the countryside and came to the big city. One day, he was looking for a room and realized that the black neighborhood was full of people, but the white neighborhood had many empty rooms. Harry immediately saw a business opportunity. He decided to start real estate. He had his eye on an apartment building. It's in a good neighborhood, neighborhood with the black community. So he goes to the real estate manager. He wants to buy it for 